Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own NA10 AI agent to automatically reply to your emails. So I'm just going to show you an example. I have an email over here that I sent to myself and I'm going to get the AI agent to automatically respond to it. So first what you will need is you will need a Gmail trigger. When you open this up, you will be greeted with the ability to check the frequency of these emails. So you can see that you have every hour, minute, day, week. And obviously the higher the frequency, the easier or the faster it will respond to emails. The downside of it is you will use more of your execution credits in NA10. So this is entirely up to you. Next, this is the only option, message received. And then I will personally give it the unread emails only because I don't want it to go through my whole inbox and basically start writing emails out. So I'll toggle this on. Next, the most important thing you will want is to make sure this simplify is turned off. Make sure that's very, very important. Next, what you need to do is set up your AI agent. Open it up and give it a system prompt. This is just how the model identifies. Next, you will give it a user prompt. I'm just doing something simple for this video. However, I'm just telling it to thank the user based on the message they sent. Then, most importantly, you need to give it the context of the message, which is basically just the text of the email. Next, you will want to make sure that you have the define below set. This is what basically will allow it to actually give it the prompts because otherwise it will basically just pull up a chat node in NA10. So once you have done that, you will want to come over to where it says the chat model and give it an LLM. You have a bunch of different options if you want to use Google Gemini, Olama. For me, I'm going to be using OpenAI. Open it up and then select the model that you want to use. Lastly, you need to actually be able to give it tools. This will, is basically how the AI agent is actually able to perform actions. So for this one specifically, we're going to be using the Gmail reply to message. So when you open it up, you're going to want to set resource to message, operation to reply, and then most importantly, you need the message ID. This is basically what's going to allow it to reply to a particular message rather than creating a whole new message from scratch and you have no history or context. So in this field, you will want to give it a thread ID. You will see this when you run it through in your test that the thread ID is pretty much at the very top. Next, set the email type to either text or HTML. It's based on preference. And then lastly, you will want to set the message defined automatically by the model. This will basically allow the LLM, the AI agent, to automatically formulate the email on its own without you having to do it. Now, this is an option that you can do if you don't want to have that little message at the bottom saying sent by NA10, you can click on the option and then make sure it's toggled off. All right, so let's go ahead and run this once. Now, as I showed you in the beginning, I had an email that came in and it should be able to pull up that email and reply to it. If I come back to here, I will just give it one second. Now, as you can see, it actually did reply to this email. So if I pull it up, you can see, there we go. Now it has created a whole new email for us on its own. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next one.